Hi! In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made the studio light. So when I installed the shop lights, it came in four pack, I only ended up using three. So I have an extra one. Now my plan is to turn this into a studio light. It's really bright, and so it should be good to point out a face or an object to get better lighting for photos and videos. I also have this extra tripod stand, and that's what I plan on attaching it to. Except for right now I have no way of doing that. So we're gonna come up with a solution to attach this light in different orientations to this stand. So, first things first, we're going to model it and 3D print it. Okay, now that we're done modeling and 3D printing, it's time to move on to assembly. But first, I have one support I have to take care of. Okay, so this is the base of our print. This is the part that is going to slide down and attach to the stand and hold everything into place. And it does that by the slot is big enough for a nut to go down in and it has a half hexagon at the bottom to hold the nut in place so that you can spin a bolt through and it will stay secure. So ideally, this slides down into here. This nut goes in that. This slides down onto here, screws in, and there we go, we're all attached. Okay, now that we have this attached, we're actually going to unattach it because I forgot one thing. It needs some threaded inserts installed in it. Now, when I modeled this up, I designed all the holes that needed threaded inserts to be a little bit smaller than the actual inserts themselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a soldering iron to melt them into place. Okay, so now that we have that finished, we can actually start attaching pieces together. And the first two that we're going to attach are these two pieces. Now these two pieces we're going to do first because before you can attach them, we need to slide this bolt into the back of this. And then we can attach them.
All right, this thing looks like it's really coming together. All right, I'm gonna steal the same trick I did last time with the nut and bolt and use it on this end. So here, we're gonna insert this nut right into this slot right here. Push it all the way in. And then, before I do that, I want this 3D printed part on it. Now I could use this one because that one's meant for thread and this one's meant for the head. So I can insert this into here, push it down real good. And that way instead of trying to twist the head of the bolt, I can use this for more leverage. So now this should spin into there. And the whole point of this adjustment is for this metal rod that I got. So this metal rod slides into this hole. Just like that. And then this guy will tighten down and hold it in place. Okay? Just like that. Now we can untwist this, spin it around to a vertical orientation, tighten it all back up. Lift it up. Nice. Okay, so I obviously need to cut it down because it's way too long. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna cut it down to the appropriate length of the light, which I have measured out. But we need the ends to be just as wide as this light. So all in all, it should look something like this. just going the vice grip route that was a lot easier uh, so before I was using conduit and cutting it with a grinder and it was just sloppy and so I decided to pick this up and it does a great job with vice grips um, so I'm gonna ramble for a little bit but I actually built a deck for my mom for Mother's Day earlier this year and for the rails we ended up using conduit instead of like regular wooden balusters and it kind of got me going down this whole like conduit path and I ended up coming up with a bunch of ideas that I thought would be really cool with this super cheap, sturdy, easy to cut metal rod. So this is actually the first of a few videos that I'm going to be using this new material, conduit. Okay, so we're heading down the final stretch of this project and finally these guys get to see some action. So these are what I called the end caps. The end caps. These go on the ends of the conduit. In one side, there's a set screw to secure it to the conduit. On the other side, there's a screw to secure this clip that came with my light onto it. Now this clip is what actually attaches the light to the fixture. So we're gonna install these two on the ends of the conduit and then we should be able to throw the light on it.
All right, we got the end caps installed and the clips. So with any luck, this light should just snap right into position. Oh. Okay, it's on. We did it. Let's make sure this works still. Okay, okay. Ah, look at that. Man. Of course, you have a tripod adjustment. So you have an adjustment up here, and if you twist this, we can angle it just to direct the light a little bit. And then we can also slide left to right. Now obviously sliding all the way over doesn't make too much sense, but still holds. Where it really makes sense. Where it really makes sense is when you do the back adjustment to twist it vertical. Let's do that. Okay, now it's vertical. Now, this top adjustment. You like that. Now we have that kind of movement. And if you want light really low down to the ground, we can lower it all the way down. So what's the point of all of this, you ask? Well, I don't have very much light in my garage. I have these overhead lights that provide a lot of shadow down onto my face. And so the whole point is for better lighting, for better videos, for you guys. So let me show you the difference between without the light and with. So here is without, and here's with. Pretty big difference, right? Yeah, okay. Without and with. 